thought I would use uh, Hobo's Lullaby um, as a chance to just do a little tutorial in open D, because that's the way I, I did it um, on the record. So the first thing is to tune the guitar to an open D. Basically, it's gonna, the guitar's gonna sound just like this, as if you have an E chord, but a whole tone down. I'll show you how I do it. I take the E string down to D, high E string, down to D. Just use the uh, D string in the middle to do the octaves, and then this is going to be A. So the B string gets down to A. And then, that's actually Dan Gad, which is a tuning that some people use. But um, I'm going to take this G and just put it down a half step. That's the D on the fourth foot. You can see that we're getting pretty good, pretty close to a good sounding tuning. So anyway, in open D, there's uh, uh, basically you have the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord, which is going to be D, uh, G, and A. And these are the forms that I use for the, um, D is always just open like that, generally, or, yeah, just open like that. Um, now, to play the uh, G, or the four chord, in open D tuning, a lot of times you'll do what would normally look like an E seventh in regular tuning, just with these two fingers. So that's your four chord, the G, and then for the five chord, you're going to do a chord that's, uh, Second fret of the high um, string, and then uh, almost looks like the, the uh, notes of an E chord there. It's going to be the first fret of the third string and the second fret of the fourth string. So you can just kind of practice that. And I'm going to be uh, using this picking style here throughout this. I won't really go into too much of it tutorial on the picking style itself because um, I basically just want to show you the chords and some of the riffs in this song but you can see one chord, four chord, five chord and for that song so basically go to sleep you weary hobo four chord, five chord let the town spirit slowly by back to the five chord Listen to the steer rails humming four chord, five chord. That's a hobo's lullaby. And then you can also do it using the straight bar because you've got the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord just like that. Go to sleep, you weary hobo. Let the towns drift slowly by. Listen to the steer rails humming. It's a hobo's lullaby. And so basically that's the whole thing. I just decided to do it like that and then just finding a few little nice little uh, riffs that sound good um, and those just kind of come together and make the arrangement. So that's just simply on the first string. To sleep you weary hobo. So um, the riff there is... I did that wrong. Four chord, now the five. See, I just have that. I just pick the highest string and then the third string. That's where the melody is. And then I just move up to. Got 
this bar, just go up to the 8th fret on the 2nd string. So I can slide up to that melody note. So it's... Listen to steel rails humming. That's a hobo's lullaby. 